Right, how is everyone doing? Good, I hope. This is Stardash on the Atari VCS, a new game by Orange Pixel, you know. And uh, this is, uh, well, I think six or seven games that uh, Orange Pixel has on the Atari VCS. And it's uh, awesome, keep it up. You know, the Atari VCS is awesome, and it's going to get more games like this in the future. So, you know, you know, brilliant. So, yeah. So, uh, so this is, it has a sort of a retro look to it. It's sort of like a Game Boy game. It kind of reminds me, you know. And, uh, and, uh, you can turn on the music, sound effects, stuff, play the game, you know. I'm, I'm playing the game using the, um, the Atari VCS modern controller. And, uh, really pretty awesome, in my opinion. So, yeah. Yeah, so, it's a platforming game, you know, so pretty awesome. And, uh, Yeah, so pretty awesome in my opinion, you know. You collect coins, something like Super Mario Brothers. Uh, so pretty awesome. Uh, th there's a lot of platforming games on the Atari VCS. So if if you like platforming games, the VCS is the system they get. And this game is awesome in my opinion. Um, Star Dash and uh, I say fair play to Orange Pixel. Uh, he, there's a bunch of games on the type VCS are released by him, you know. Uh, Mega Noid is awesome, and Gun Slugs 1 and 2 are awesome, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, you should definitely check out his his other games on the type VCS star. And I, I, uh, I hope he keeps um, bringing these games out for the type VCS. Um, Heroes of Lou, I believe that's one of his uh, as well, you know, our, um, Orange Pixel, so. Low battery. Please charge. That's my Bluetooth speaker. I uh, won't have to charge that now in a minute. So, yeah, um, it's pretty awesome. The, the, the control as well, the play as well. Uh, you know, the modern controller, the, the, the A buttons jump. And, um, but one hitting you dead, as you've seen, and you know, all. So, pretty, pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, st start. So, again, this is a uh, Star Dash. On the Atari VCS, and um, pretty cool, you know. Not too complicated, you know. It's just good old-fashioned platforming, you know. So yeah, but uh, what I'd like to see is is a uh, a few first-person shooters showing up on the Atari VCS, because uh, there's none there's none at the moment. So hopefully that changes. Hopefully, Orange Pixel or one of the other awesome indie devs makes a force person shooter because the entire VCS is fully capable of doing an awesome force person shooter. Um so yeah I, 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 uh, we like platforming games but we, we prefer force person shooters, you know. Yeah so that's Star Dash on, on the entire VCS. Pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh so like I said uh, uh, this is made by Orange Pixel. He's got a bunch of games on the entire VCS and and they're all fairly cheap. You know, eight ninety nine or so. So pretty awesome. And um, yeah. So I'll just I'll just go back to the dashboard and um, I'll, I'll show you a, a bunch of other games that Orange Pixel has made for the Atari VCS. You know. So yeah, pretty awesome. So yeah, that's the Star Dash. You know, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, so as you see, there's tons of games on the Atari VCS. Uh. Mostly indie dev games, which is awesome, and there's more to come. You got Atari Age games. You got games with John Hancock, like Game Panic Three, XO Seventy Eight Hundred, and um, Strike Zone. I believe they're um, Atari Age games. So there's more to come, people. You got a uh, Berserk Recharge. You got Neo Sprint, Arty Seventy Eight Hundred. That's um, uh, a homebrew, I believe. Uh, it's sort of like Hero, except it's called Artie, you know, so loads of games on the Atari VCS, you know. 
a uh, lot, lot of puzzle games, platforming games and stuff, so pretty awesome. Yeah, so there's 132 games now on the Atari VCS and more on the way, like, you know. So the Atari VCS, you know, it's it's got a long, bright future ahead of it. So don't listen to people that are saying that it's finished, it's not, you know. Uh, yes, Atari's focus is mainly on the um, Atari 2600 Plus at the moment, but it's not the only thing, like, you know. Uh, 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 T-shirts, cartridges, you know. Arcade machines, no, they do, they're doing everything right, like, you know. And they bought, uh, uh, they bought, um, Light Dive Studios and Digital Eclipse, Atari Age, and so they're doing all the right things, um, Atari, you know. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, awesome stuff. Uh, so hopefully more games come out before Christmas. Uh, uh, so it's been an awesome year, in my opinion. For the Atari VCS, Atari and us fans, like, you know, and there's more to come, like, you know. And, um, so 132 games. Uh, you got Doing a Blaster, the Gem Collector, awesome games. And the Planet A Defense Force, I mean, you got Haunted House, Ultra Mission, which is, uh, like, Berserk. So, pretty, pretty awesome, you know, pretty awesome. Uh, but, uh, Mega Noid and, uh, Gun Slugs, they're, um, um, orange pixel games as well, which are awesome. You got Ends Reach, which is awesome. Mr. Run and Jump Tournament, you know, these are all awesome games, people. And maybe Jump 2600, Doodle Taxi, Chaos, uh, Catacombs of Chaos, that's uh, John Hancock again. So, Retro Game Quest, um, 2600. So, awesome, awesome. So, um, yeah, the Atari VCS is awesome, um, in my opinion. Yeah, so there's uh, Gun Slugs 2 and Heroes of Loot 2. They're um, orange pixel games as well, uh, which is pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the Atari VCS is awesome. And I say, uh, thanks very much to, to Orange Pixel and all the other awesome indie dev uh, developers that are making awesome games for the Atari v uh, VCS. So, just keep it up. And more games are on the way. So this is a uh, Space Grunts, which is uh so this is Tort Day nineteen oh, but it's well worth it in my opinion. Uh, Orange Pixel once again. So like that's what I'd like to see. Like a, a, a few first person shooters showing up on the Atari VCS star, you know. And I hope um Night Driver Recharge comes out for the Atari VCS. You got Mega Noid, uh which is only eight ninety nine, so uh, yeah, in my opinion, like, awesome. Um, awesome, awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, Donald Dodo, BPM Boy, BPM Boy made by Tony Barnes. So, uh, I believe he, he's got more games coming out for, for the VCS. Uh, so, that's awesome. You know, you got Gravatar Recharge. You know, awesome, awesome, awesome. Tempest 4000, which is uh, strangely ignored. I think Tempest 4000 is awesome, like, you know. People just don't seem to like it as much as Tempest 2000, but I think it's awesome. You, you got Common Area, you know, you got Breaker Recharged, you know, um, you got a, a bunch of uh, Dodge Box games, you know, a lot of Fleet Simulator games, so yeah, I mean, pretty awesome. So anyway, I hope uh, um, everyone has a great day, and uh, the, the entire VCS is awesome, you know. Uh, people are starting to realise the uh, potential that it has that it's, it's really easy to make games for it and Atari do give the developers a good chunk of the money so you know brilliantly you know and um, yeah so just personally I'd like to see more uh, but a, a bunch of first person shooters showing up do with something similar to them or Quake or something like that um, so yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah, so yeah, Star Dash again. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna go back into it. It's an awesome game, in my opinion. And low battery, yeah. please charge. So yeah, so I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, all the best, and bye bye.